Hi, welcome to Data on My View. In today's video, I'm going to show how to use a data set for Power BI report. Here, I'm going to show the demo in Power BI report server. Let's get started. As you can see, I have opened my Power BI report server, which I have installed in my local machine. Here, I have went to the data sets folder. I have a data set called a DS underscore product underscore sales. So if you open that, I can see the list of options like a data preview. I can load the data so it will help us to see what are the columns are there and what is the uh, data inside each columns. So this will help us to preview the data within the report server itself. We are going to use this DS underscore product underscore sales data set for our Power BI report. As you know, you can create a Power BI report against any data sources. This feature is available in Power BI report server as well. So usually when we create a Power BI report, using power bi report server we'll be choosing a sql server most of the time and uh, we'll be selecting the uh, tables and we'll be doing the relationship between the tables and finally i'll be creating a report then publishing that into the power bi report server so once you publish that power bi report you can see the data sources but you can't see the data sets against that because it can be uh, uh, two different uh, query modes either import or direct query so import in the sense is something like embedded within the report itself so you can't see the data unless you open the report in the power bi desktop and another option is direct query so it is not going to uh, show the query or uh, uh, data unless again uh, open that in the power bi desktop here uh, as you know these data sets will be useful uh, most of the time to create a paginated reports or uh, especially for power uh, sorry sql server mobile reports here i'm going to show a different approach that we can use the data sets for power bi report so there are two benefits that we can get it so we can easily manage all the uh, data sets related to the power bi in a single place and also if we want to do any customization like adding the columns and uh, deleting the columns which we can uh, do easily in the data sets level itself so whatever the changes that we are doing in the data sets level it will be reflected so if you do any schematical changes on the data sets we have to open the power bi report and we have to refresh that that will be reflected on the power bi report so let's get started to see how to use the data set to use the data set we have to know the uh, rest apis as you know, uh, Microsoft has released a support to the REST APIs for SSRS 2017. You can check how to use the REST APIs below here. I have given the link in my description. Also, you can check the uh, icon on the top of the uh, video. And once you got the REST API understanding, then you have to go to this URL. So this is your server name and this is the folder where you are going to store the reports usually it will be on uh, reports since i have two instance like ssrs and the power bi i have just named it as power bi uh, with the reports and the ap is the default url uh, name and v2.0 is a uh, default url so here we have to add data sets to see what are the data sets that we have hosted in into the this particular uh, report server here these are the data sets each data sets have uh, id so we have to identify the uh, relevant id for the shared data sets. so this is the data sets like a ds underscore product underscore sales so identify the id for that this is the id and we just copy that and again uh, within bracket we are going to specify that id so if i just type it is going to give me the details about that shared data set so this is about the shared data set since we want to access this shared data set for a report we need to know the data inside this data sets right so you need to type slash data so it is going to give you all the data within the this particular data set so it is going to load and it is going to fetch the results so in the meanwhile we are going to move to the power bi desktop where we are going to create the power bi report against the shared data set so open your power bi desktop here i just created a uh, report against the shared data set let me show how to create that so i'm going to uh, data source settings or, or let me go to edit queries so still it is loading so it is loading let's see it is going to give you the results and here i'm going to source 
as you can see we have two different columns let me show you how to get these columns so let me open a new report let me close this out uh, for a better understanding let me open a new report so it is opening so in the meanwhile let us check it is still loading right so in the uh, new report okay in the new report go to get data here we are going to use one of the data connector called o data field we are going to use that rest api url inside this o data so basically this rest api gives gives us the feed using a uh, o data that we can easily uh, use through o data feed connector click that and here we have uh, two options like basic and advanced so before that we have to pass the url so our url is this one so as you can see it has uh, display the values these are the values that we have uh, seen in the preview data mode like here you can see color class these are the columns and these are the values name is a column this is the value so like that it has uh, all the columns and all the data within the json format so once you got this url just copy and go to power bi desktop and just paste it so once you paste it you have to go to advanced so this is the one of the options that you have to go so if you are going with basic let me show what will what is the result will be like uh, click ok so here it is going to process that url and it is going to ask you uh, for the credentials since we are going with uh, our uh, on premises resource uh, report server sometimes it will ask you to pass your uh, local credentials like username and password of this local machine so once you got like this it is going to display only the id id columns so id is nothing but for each record this json file has creating an id so only it is displaying the id columns but still we want to get all the columns within the uh, that specific data sets go to edit option so this is the place where we have to enable this go to source or you can uh, do that while passing that url itself go to advanced and choose this include open type columns and click ok it is going to include all the columns within this each uh, specific id and it is going to give as a uh, record so we have to expand this record as a uh, multiple columns so you should need to click this icon click and uh, it is going to list out all the columns i just want to know uh, the columns as like that i don't want to add this uh, data set name became uh, sorry as a prefix so you can see all the columns you can click okay it is going to expand with all the columns so it is going to process all the data and it is going to uh, show as a result in this data sorry sorry query editor so once you got all the columns you can just go to click uh, close and apply and you will get all the columns uh, in the fields section so it is going to process your query and it is going to fetch the results and one more thing once you got this uh, you are going to get as like this and you can easily create a report so once you created a report you can easily uh, publish that report and that report will be uh, as look like this so since i created a simple report so that report will be as like this the another important information that you need to know once you created a report against a uh, shared data set you need to know whether it is uh, using import query mode or direct query so that is the uh, main concern while creating a Uh, report against shared data set to check that go to home and click manage on the specific report and go to schedule refresh so it is going to give you the result whether it is going to make use of direct query or import mode since this new scheduled refresh plan has been enabled it is pointing that it is using a import mode so we have to create a schedule refresh plan to refresh our data set and refresh the results in the report so here you can see it is still uh, getting the data from the resources because behind the scenes it is using the query which is available uh, in the report server and it is making use of that query and it is fetching the data from the report server behind the scenes and it is going to fetch the results and it is going to embed the results within the report since it is going to use the import query mode so once we got all the results it is going to show how many records has been uh, 
retrieved and what is the size of the record so once you got you will get as like this sorry as like this and you can easily drag and drop uh, you can easy, easily create a reports if you have doubt how to create a report in power bi report server you can watch this video and it will help you to uh, create a power bi report for report server easily if you like this video please click like button if you are not subscribed please subscribe my channel for more videos on power bi and thank you